I have been fortunate enough to dabble in the world of luxury while having this channel. This channel has given me the ability to get hands on things I never thought I'd be able to. That being said, I do value my dollar and I value the quality of the products I get at an affordable price. You'll never see me, even if I'm worth $100 million, buy something that I don't think has value. Today, we're looking at an orbital watch winder that I think has almost the best value per dollar on the market. Now, I have looked at orbital watch winders in the past. I will leave a card right here for one. And in fact, I've even 3D printed an orbital watch winder because they were just far too expensive for what I had at that time. And I can tell you that 3D printing it, understanding how it works, they're not that complicated. So really what it comes down to is quality of materials in the watch winder itself and what it has to offer. So this orbital watch winder I have here, I think looks the best, displays the watch the best, and gives you the best value per dollar. So let's go ahead and flip the camera around and do a quick unboxing and then talk about it. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing. I'll show you what's inside of this luxury affordable watch winder. I say affordable, this thing, this thing is not cheap, but it's not expensive in the world of watch winders. Um, it comes with an instruction manual, a certificate of authenticity, and a warranty card inside. Everything is packaged extremely nicely. Now I have already taken this out. I've used it for a while, I repackaged it back up so I could do this unboxing. One of the things that I do love is it does come with different types of holders. It comes with both a thinner holder for your thinner watch, as well as a larger one. It's nice that they gave you both in here. A lot of watch winders, orbital watch winders, don't give you both. They only give you one. It's nice to know that they have customized it so you can put it with whatever watch that you want, whether it have a thicker bracelet or strap or a thinner bracelet or strap. So you could say it's dual gendered. If it's a woman's watch or a smaller watch, you can go ahead and switch out the carrier of it. Now inside is the winder itself and it is packaged quite nicely. So you don't have to worry about anything breaking. Let's get this out of the way. Okay. Now it does have a glass dome, which I am not the biggest fan of, but I'll show you what it looks like with the glass dome and without. So let's take this out. And then inside, the one that I have here is the wood piano finish with the gold, which I find to be really, really nice. Now that we're still on this downward shot, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how these carriers work right here. Now it has an adjustable knob right here. So you put your watch on and then you would adjust this out so you have some tension on your watch band so you don't have to adjust it to fit. And then this springs in, hooks right in just like that. Now I forgot to mention there is a discount code down below for this watch winder and its other alternative, the silver on the carbon fiber base. I like this one specifically because to me it screams elegance, whereas the other one screams more modern. So you have the difference between either a modern look or a classic look. I like the classic luxury feel of the gold with that piano finish. So let's talk about this watch winder I have in front of me. Now, one of the things that I do love about this is it does come with a glass dome, and a lot of them do. In fact, the other orbital watch winder I got on Amazon also came with a glass dome. However, the quality wasn't as good as this one. Just like that one, I'm not a big fan of the glass dome. I understand why it's there. It's there to protect your watch, to display it, and keep 
everything clean on the inside. That being said, whenever you want to get your watch, you have to touch the glass dome and pull it off. And what does that do? It creates fingerprints on the glass, so you have to clean it every single time or put on some special gloves, which nobody wants to do, to be able to, uh, you know, pick it up and then remove your watch. That is kind of annoying, but all that being said, it's really not that big a deal. I just don't like the glass dome because I feel like it takes away from what's inside. As clear as this glass may be, I still feel like there's a slight haze on any glass. And when you see something without the glass, like in a museum setting, right? I could look at a blue diamond behind glass and it doesn't shimmer as well as in person without the glass. I feel the same thing about this. I personally don't want to use the glass dome, but I know some people may want to. Now, when we're talking about the watch monitor itself, it really only has one setting on and off. Now, this is going to be a critique because you can't really customize it like you can other watch winders. It really just turns on and it starts going. Now, it rotates one way for five minutes, then stops, then rotates the other way for five minutes, and then it stops and then it rotates again for three hours. Uh, this is the only setting that's offered. I really wish it was more customizable, but that really isn't a big deal. When it comes to orbital watch winders like this, they don't offer the same kind of watch winding as something like a standard watch winder like I did from Mosley. And really what it has to do with is the rotation of the watch itself. So it tends to take more effort on this side than it does on the side of a standard watch winder, right? It takes less effort on a standard watch winder, but it doesn't look as cool or as elegant or displayed as nicely as on an orbital watch winder. Really, this is a coolness factor that also keeps your watch wound. The one I'm looking at today has the gold finishing with the piano wood base. One of the things I really like about the piano finish is it is that high polished, high lacquer finish. The issue with that is on the red mahogany that it has here is it's a fingerprint magnet and a dust magnet like anything you'd see. So it is difficult to keep it clean. However, I think that's the same way with any type of high lacquered wood you'd get on any type of display you'd have in your house. The gold finishing to me adds that extra layer of elegance that really isn't offered the same when you look at something that's silver or stainless steel. I think gold just adds that extra bit of high quality look than a stainless steel. Now, it also depends on what watch you want to display. If the watch that you want to display is a stainless steel Submariner, similar to this one right here, my Rolex Kerbin, if you want to display this on a stainless steel bracelet, maybe you do want it to be on the carbon fiber with the steel accents, right? The steel framing, because it matches the watch better. In this one, I use my Frederic Constant watch because that is a gold watch that is more of an elegant dress watch and I really wanted something that's more elegant and dressy when it came to my watch winder. I've had a lot of watch winders that are sporty, that are really nice and carbon fiber E, but really the elegance and the classic design of the gold and mahogany piano finished wood to me just screams like it's valued higher, like it's worth more. The way that the orbital watch winder works is it's on a set of three rings. The outer ring is stationary, the two rings on the inside rotate, on the bottom is a spindle that rotates around and that is what causes its entire movement. This thing has the option of either plugging it directly into the wall or using two AA batteries on the bottom. I prefer to use the two AA batteries because that means this thing can be picked up and moved anywhere without having it plugged into a wall, which means if I want to place this on a coffee table, I absolutely can. It's one of the things that really is necessary in these days is to have the ability to have this thing, you know, battery operated. It does have a push button on the front, which begins it. And then you have this annoying light on the back that we'll talk about in the cons section. So what are the pros and cons of having this orbital watch winder? Well, it displays your watch in a very elegant way and it offers a nice glass dome right here that 
protects it from dust and debris. It does have a very nice feel whenever the watch is being wound and it really does catch your eye and you just find yourself staring at it rotating back and forth. I can't say the same thing for a standard watch winder. I've never just looked at a watch winder and thought, oh, it's spinning back and forth. But when this thing is moving back and forth, I can really find my I find myself just looking at it and watching it rotate back and forth it's just very beautiful in the way that it winds the watch so not only does it give it a nice display but it gives it a beauty when it's moving about inside of its display the piano finish is on point and it's perfect the way that they designed the bottom lip to house the glass cover it falls in line perfectly i love the way it's built you can tell that when they built this they really put a lot of thought into the design now one of the things i don't like and the only there's two things i don't like about this watch winder the first thing i don't like is the fact that it doesn't offer the ability to dial in the type of winding that your watch needs now, the reason for that is, like I explained earlier, the way an orbital watch winder works is it's not as aggressively winding your watch as something that's just spinning in a circle. It casually winds it as if it's on your wrist, and sometimes it just takes a little more time to get it wound throughout the day. Because of that, um, this thing just kind of has one setting, and it's set it and forget it. Some people may not like that. Maybe they want it to be more dialed in, but I've looked at other watch winders that are even more expensive and they offer basically a single function just like this one. Now, the last thing I don't like about it is this display light in the back. I don't like how it lights up and I don't like how it's, and I know why it's there. It's there because they want it to project a light on your watch so it gives it a nice visual representation so it illuminates the thing that you're trying to show off. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I think it's placed oddly. I wish I could turn it off, but I can't turn it off and I'm trying to find something I can put over it like a black like stick pad that doesn't really look, you know, uh too out of place just so I can cover it up. In the nighttime is when I find it to be the most annoying because it lights up the ceiling of my room and I like a dark room. Some people may like it, right, as more of a night light. It kind of illuminates and it glows. Like I have this flint back here that offers the ability to turn on a blue light. It gives you the same ambiance, right? It gives you the ability to have a light at night that's illuminating your watches. This doesn't give you the option. It just is on or it's off when it comes to the light. And I really wish they didn't have the light at all. So it's one of the things that I just don't like about it. Other than those two things, I can't find anything else that I don't like about this watch winder. I think it does a damn good job. I think it looks great. And I think that if you use the discount code below and you get 10% off, I think that you'll find a great deal and uh, a great watch winder to display your favorite watch. Now, if you like videos and videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below. Leave a comment on the content you guys would like to see on this channel. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this watch winder. I have a lot of things coming up in the future. Make sure you guys are leaving a comment, especially of the content you guys would like to see. This is all things random, mostly watch stuff with some random things sprinkled in between. I do have a lot of dive videos coming up with dive products, dive gear, you know, in the pool. I got to run out of pool. I got to get my buddy to come help me film. So there is some things that have to fall into place for me to do that but I do have more underwater videos coming in the future a couple more a couple more products I'm also reviewing but a lot of watch stuff also coming in the future make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop all of these videos until next time